Hello, this is Mike. NoStressMike.com. Uh, I've had uh, people talk about uh, uh, the racial problems in the United States. I'll tell you, I don't really like to talk about that kind of stuff. And the reason is, I find it all falling under the same problem, and that is the failure to take personal responsibility. And um, that when someone uh, doesn't want to take personal responsibility, they look for someone else to do it for them. And uh, uh, the thing is, nobody will do it for you in a normal world. Now, what happens in the United States, and well, I guess it's happening all over the world, and what it is, it's the politicians. Uh, politicians, uh, and I don't like talking about politicians because there's nothing to talk about. Nothing. There's sure nothing good about them. There's a there's a reason why the United States was set up to have a small government to keep the politicians to a minimum uh, to make sure that the politicians don't have enough power where they can screw things up. But as we can see, they have uh, 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 we've allowed the politicians to take on more responsibility. Why? Because we are not taking that personal responsibility. We're, uh, what we do is, well, and that's what it is, that's what you hear me talk about the weak. The weak don't want to get involved. The weak don't want to take any responsibility. So then what they do is they push it off on the, the politician, let the politicians take care of it. Uh, uh, the thing is, and, and that applies to, to everything, you can see how the politicians screw up everything. The government screws up everything. I used to think the only thing they could do is build a road, and now I've, I, the way I see they bypass they make these highways to bypass small communities, making it so that everybody has to live in the big communities, not like uh, uh, big housing areas. You know, so they so they even screwed up the the, the roads. They can't even build up a damn, build a damn road. They're so screwed up. But the thing is, on the racial stuff. I've made videos you know, talk about uh, the racial stuff I had to go through in the 60s and it's it's worse in the 60s than what what you see now so it's going to get a whole lot worse uh, the only thing is I don't know how long it's going to take uh, in the 60s it, they couldn't get bad real quick uh, because there were still people that took personal responsibility and they didn't allow this stuff to happen. And now uh, everybody'd much rather be uh, uh, taking money from somebody, you know, if it's not uh, was it sor sorrow or whatever, uh, the rich guy that's promoting all the the racial problems with Obama. Uh, they're not taking the money from them. They're taking money from the government. And, uh, you know, they feel like they need more money or they say, you know, I, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, uh, people that don't take personal responsibility always need more. They always need more. Uh, you know, that's it's just the way, that's, when you walk around with your hand out, uh, you're just always going to need more. You're, you're never going to be satisfied. You can never learn to do something on your own. Now... In the 60s, it, uh, it got to the point where, like I say, it was getting more and more violent. And uh, to stop this violence, uh, what, uh, well, the government, uh, what it, it thought what it needed to do was uh, uh, 
things like uh, affirmative action. And uh, anybody was around back in those days, I think that was in the 70s, I think, is when that started. And uh, they take unqualified people of any color and put them in positions uh, where they, they weren't, it doesn't make any difference what color you are. If you can't take personal responsibility, you're just, you're just not worth a damn, the way I see it. And uh, anybody that's ever worked for me, you automatically know that I, I, I make sure people take personal responsibility or you don't work for me. Everybody's got a, a piece of the puzzle to work on. And uh, so what they did is they, uh, and I don't want to talk about uh, the affirmative action so much, but it's that mindset, putting unqualified people in positions that made unqualified uh, results. And it made uh, workplace uh, problems. So and they, they changed, what happened, they, they changed it from racial problems to workplace problems. And then they started giving the welfare and stuff like that, paying off all these poor uh, people of color. And uh, so that's to stop them from, from uh, protesting and all this kind of stuff. In which, uh, when it comes to personal uh, responsibility, we stop that kind of stuff. Like I say, I've made videos talking about that. And I'm not saying it was the right way to do it, I'm just saying somebody has to take personal responsibility. And somebody will. So, in other words, when they keep pushing their racial problem, there's going to get to a point when the people will take uh, that personal responsibility. But the women uh, did the same thing, keep them, because they, uh, uh, they, they promoted uh, the way the system, the political system is set up. It was easier to be uh, divorced or not married, uh, and women would make money, like say with the welfare. And uh, so it made it easier, but now they have to give them work. So then what did they do? The same thing. They put unqualified women into positions uh, where it made the workplace tough. And the, the weirdest thing is, seeing that mama's not home, she's divorced, not home, taking care of the kid. Now you got kids that aren't worth the shit. And these kids grow up. And then that promotes more unsettling unrest. And But it's the same thing. They haven't had any they haven't had to take personal responsibility. They haven't had to live up to what they do because people feel sorry for them. And uh, so they just get more and more out of hand. And that is what's going on in the United States. And now we're, we're to the point where we accept this kind of, uh, I call it, irrational behavior, even though it is the norm right now. And so now they, everybody uses the same uh, perverted type behavior. And then we're going to have the same problem with, uh, with the religious stuff. Uh, we're going to have all, all these. It's all snowballing because nobody's going to take personal responsibility. And I'll tell you what. It all ends up when it's time, when everybody, or not everybody, not everybody's going to get belly full. But it's going to be uh, enough people are going to get a belly full, and you're going to see violence is going to be big time, because that's the only way you're going to be able to get this stuff fixed up. I and you know everything I do is promote nonviolence, because like I say, I'd rather do it nonviolent because like I say, I'm from the business world. I want to see everybody benefit, but the only people that benefit are the ones that take personal responsibility. How that happens, it's going to happen somewhere down the line. Like it or not. This is Mike. No stress, Mike.com.